The Bible is for multiple books, though. Over 66 books. That's, that's, that's a whole lot of information, though. I'm not, I'm not, it has the main things. It has the main things. I don't think it has everything in the Bible. It has the main things, though. You have to agree. The reality is that he doesn't even have what he looks like. He doesn't even have what he looks like. So why would he have everything to get more before the Lord? If we're not willing to acknowledge that we are broken and full evil in sight of God, you are never going to understand the Bible. The Bible, the Bible says we see through a veil darkly you know, now. The only yeah, it says in the Bible, we will see, we see more. Yeah. So you're right with that. So that's so that's so but we have the main so image. That's why I said the ones that mentioned some of the other religions, they could be, the bad they could news, be right. The bad that's, news you just answered my question. Who knows? To run Who to knows? the good news. They could be right or they could it's be wrong. All right, all right. But God has to the power gospel, to do it. That's true. Right. The word gospel means Not everything good news. Is in any other Bible. Glad Not everything tidings. Is in the Bible. That's, that's, the that's the reason why we come out because there is good news that has changed our lives that's, that's forever. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, that's We're not supposed to know. But, 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 but we have my experience. We have the main thing say. though. I've, I've heard we have what we need though for salvation. We have what we need in, in the past. No, that's but that's beautiful. I never, that. I never got changed by the good news right. because because mm -hmm. uh, uh, until a certain point. But. And I've I listened to the gospel many so times in, 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 my, in my early life, and that, that I didn't have, get changed so by the gospel because I didn't understand. I didn't understand the severity mm -hmm. of the bad How news. You know it was his until his I realized that I was in that I was in like danger. I was in danger in the sight of God. I was in danger of His judgment. I was in danger of going to hell. I knew I I saw my sin in light. And that's when I appreciated. The book said God God is a tree. Would you believe that? That's when I appreciated the gospel. God is all the trees. That's when I appreciated. Even though I've heard, I've heard all the time. Yeah, Jesus died for me and rose again. I heard that. Did he make it? Did he make it? He made it. You know, he I, made the I, tree. It was probably I didn't, I didn't some, 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 some bad religions. news. So some when I realized that I was actually going to hell, some religions have, have worship the sunlight. Like, the sun is not God. We can all die at any moment. Yeah. Right. But the but way he, that I was living in the fast not, life, in the fast not lane, the tree. I could yeah. die at any moment. I've been, wow. I've been in the middle of, 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 wow. of, of I've, I've been in the middle of shootouts, I'm drug dealing, all that stuff. My life could have been demanded in a moment. But God, God uh, spared me. God yeah. spared me. Mister, Mister, and, so and and God, and I know that God, I know that God maybe has spared they, you. God has spared maybe, you. God has, right. yeah, God has spared. Right. That's why you're here right now, listening to the God. That's the reason why God has you here. That's. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're laughing at me. It doesn't matter because if you really didn't care, you just keep walking by. You just keep walking by. But there's something that is convicting you. That's why you're here. Hey, they call, they call Jesus crazy. But, so but no one in Christ saved this reincarnation. They call Jesus he crazy. Man, they man said dies one time. That's it. That's what Christ said. One, one, one time. Jesus so, 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 so you think you, you believe so, that because that is not true. So you call, call Christ a liar. But, but is God the scripture in the Bible? You know, in fact, they said, if they persecuted me, they would have persecuted you too. I'm talking about man dying. But it doesn't say that. Christ never said his reincarnation. But look, he said if man repent or perish. It doesn't say it doesn't exist. If you go to heaven, why standing here listening? You're walking contradiction. It don't say that. See, Christ, Christ, what, Christ never said that. That's what happens when you don't think before you talk. That's what happens when you don't think before you talk. Just like he didn't want to know what he was talking about. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to deal with it. So, so, okay, okay, so if, if, if we come back, if, if we come back, right, if we come back, we can make an issue. Do you know Philippians? What, what is God judge? What, what life does God judge? Do you know Genesis? I think, I think okay, what life does God judge? If we come back over and over again, what life does God judge? Huh? I didn't say that could be possible. I didn't say over and over. I said that I believe that there could be a possibility that when your son goes up, it goes to heaven. Or you go to down there. I don't talk about down there. I don't think that they have a chance. I'm talking about the people that go ascend and they go up to heaven. God can do anything. Just because he doesn't have it in the Bible, what, what do do? that doesn't mean that he can't send your soul back for another mission. So the soul will come back. I need to back. repent. That's what I need to do. How, how many times will the soul come back? Um, I want to ask 
How many times? Yes, so you what life would God? What life would God judge? Well, he would judge each life. The same soul. The same soul. He would judge the soul with the individual. So what? So what? The first life, he was a good person. Second life, really, really bad. Third life, so in the middle. What life would he judge? Over and over, he come back to the same earth. But you, you, you got to judge in one life, one soul, three different lives. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. So are you so are you saved or lost then? But if there's anything that you should take away is that the Lord Jesus Christ did die for your sins. Not now in the Bible, but the logic. But the logic of this message. Jesus still died for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. And he rose, and he rose again from the dead. He rose from the dead, and you can have everlasting life, just like I have. Look, I've been in your shoes. I was 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 in your shoes. To me, it was illogical. The Bible is very logical to me. I hate sin. You're right. I'm a hater. I hate sin. To me, you're, you're right. Come back over and over and over and over right. again. That means and the word and the word said, no, the wicked join hand in hand. Yeah. They will not go unpunished. You should, you should think about that. You, you should think about that. But I do feel you should think about that because you know, you know honestly, I, I hope I, I, I hope that I can see you again. But the reality is, I don't know. You might not see me. I may not see you because our life. Hold on. Okay, I'll let you guys. Just one, just one thing. Hold on. Our life is a vapor. Like you shall. God is spirit. We don't know what his spirit looks like exactly. I agree with you. I agree with you. That's our life right there. And one day, we're going to be with So we do the best that we can with what we have to do. The point is, Daniel was saved. The Bible says God winks at our ignorance. Yeah, you know what I mean? So if you don't know certain things, God understands. So if you don't know certain things, God understands. Only holds the camera for what we, we, we do know. You know? Look, there's yeah. somebody on the fucking yeah. street. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And, and don't, okay, I have a question for you. I have a question. I have a question for you. I have a question. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. If you're dating, if you're, if you're dating a man, right, and he says, and you're against smoking, you, you're against um, him cursing, you, cursing you, curse you out, him cheating, that's your standard, right? Why? Every good, every good thing comes from God. Yeah. Every good it's your, thing is your standard, right? So, so then you will cut him off myself, from, from look, being with you, you, right? Myself, from being with you, right? God has standards. So, so if, 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 if we're not human, oh, but, 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 but we're made in His image and likeness. I would cut him off. That would cut us off. I don't think that God would do that. Do what? Over somebody cheating. The way I would handle it. God bring a cheater? No, that's not the way I would handle it. It's not the way that I feel like God would handle it. Because we're not even going to say love. Even though you curse. That's true. God is above us. But, but we're made in God's image and likeness. There's people. There's people. That's God, what Jesus did. Jesus like was mocked, beaten. You know like what he this. did? Mm -hmm. He didn't fight back. He laid his yourself. life down. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Died for our not, sin. Not so, but so therefore, if you think having the forgiveness of sins is done, then, then that's your opinion. That's fine. You're entitled to it. But in the end, there's going to be a reckoning. And for every idle word, because you're not going to handle it. But there are similarities, though. But there are similarities, though. That's what I heard. And I hope we got Okay, do we have laws? We have laws. We got have laws. Well, you mean that type of stuff? Yeah. I'm talking about somebody cheats on me, and I cut them off. I don't want to be with the guy anymore. Yeah, but you know why? Because it hurts you. I don't think God would do that though. God wouldn't cut them off. And what if you have kids? What if you have kids now from somebody else? Let's say a person murders somebody. Do you think God is going to cut them off? God is going to be really angry at them. But he's going to be like, you know what? You're going to get some consequences. If they don't repent, they are. But if you don't repent, then you have to repent. And then you have to repent. 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 But if you repent, you'll most likely repent. Of course. So what I'm saying is, now with me, I I can't forget that. That is a similarity. I can forget the person. Look, people always bring up and even if they say sorry, that don't mean I'm going to take them back. So it's not the same. So it's not the same. But the best apology, the best apology is change behavior.
homosexuality is not the only sin. The best apology is change behavior. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I go back and do the same thing over and over again. Change behavior is the best apology. Lying, stealing, all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that simple. But you didn't ask that. That wasn't. That's like oh, that's your point. You no said difference. about me handling the past with God would handle it. No, it wouldn't happen. When I open the Bible, there's light coming out of the freaking Bible. Because God will let you repent and he will take you back into his kingdom of heaven. But that don't mean I'm going to take you back and be with you. So it's not even. It's not even the same thing. It's not See, the same thing. Uh, this but there's some though. That you, have right. you, you have standards. You have standards. You have standards. No, it's not the same. standards, yes, that's true. I agree with you on that. But it's still not the same result of how it will be. Do you agree that I can love you without agreeing? I guess that's a better way to say it. So, 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 but, 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 so when, so when, so when, so when your your parents obviously brought you up and they didn't agree with certain things that you did, they still are you saying that they didn't love you? That's true. Wait, hold on, hold on. Stick to the question. Are you? No, 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 no. See, you're 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 dating the question because I'm 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 revealing a I'm 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 revealing a flaw in your logic. Just like if that man would have said, "I'm sorry," and make changes in his life. You and stop his ways, you would, take him, you would take him back. Maybe. Right now, maybe. So and it's a video that I have God to agree with God would take his back and leave him. You, you say, God, I'm sorry, I'm so, sorry. I'm so so we might not, though. Huh? Even if we see change, we might not be able to see past the veil because we're human. God will be able to do that. He will be able to be even more accepted. Yeah. Oh, I, I think he he he, he, he raised her life. He he raised her life. I think I think so. They they believe the, 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 the white the white people are the devil. But there's still choices. He raised his life. They believe all white people are lost. Because first, it's not the same. Because first, but you don't know about that. Look, I don't know if you're. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God! Look, I'm so angry. Look at you. I know. Look, I know. I know many of you. He's upset. I know a lot of former homosexuals. He's real man. I I still love homosexuals. I feel it. But it, it but it doesn't but it doesn't mean that I but it doesn't oh mean that God. I have to agree with your lifestyle. I can love you and not agree with your lifestyle. I can do that. Because 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 you know what? Come on, brother. Because you know what? It's you want because first of all, I I hold I hold the word of God. You have you have your own standard, but I I hold to the standard of God. So what you're doing by saying, well, you know, we just I I I don't disagree that you can love another female. I love you, but but now but. But now, but listen, you don't listen. like people that's listen. ugly. What's the problem? Okay, so no, it's not about that. Like, you're no better. You're not better. You don't know what I like. It's about correcting them. Sexual bronchitis with the same sex. Lung cancer. That's what you're trying to get the bad ways of health. There are health. Love, love has love certain health. boundaries. Huh? Are you, are you, yes, you it does. I support them. Yes, it does. I don't go to church. I support them. Yes, it does. Love has. Let me ask you something. <laughs> Do you lock your doors at night? I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually an SDA. So you got a boundary. You, you don't, you don't let everybody in. You don't let everybody in. You got boundaries. You don't allow. You, why don't you allow people unannounced in your house? So okay, so no, 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 no. Is it bad to say stop because smoking? Is not good for your health. Is that bad? You, the, the reason, the, I, mean, I, I lock my doors at night, I'm not saying that you don't, of course, you lock, you lock your doors at night because, you're you're because you are doing something loving by protecting those that are in your house, because you don't want nobody out and out, it's logic, it's simple, it's not rocket science. So, Stop. love Stop. has boundaries. Yeah. You need to relax, sir. Um, so, love has boundaries. Homosexuality is outside the boundary of love. Because if you if you love as a female, if you if you love another female, you can do that. Be a sister to her. Be a friend. But be it's against nature. That's what it is. It's against nature. Of course. It's against nature. There's a reason. There's a reason why you have a female. You, listen, I'm not, I don't want to talk to you right now. You, no, I, no, go, 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 go talk to someone else. So there's a reason. Oh man, police. Listen, relax. 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 Hey, police, please stay in, man. Relax, relax. man. Police stay in. We don't want to issue the cops, man. Relax, relax. So, police, there's a reason man. why females have <laughs> different body parts 
and males have different body parts. Yeah. There's a reason. It's because yeah. that's what fits together. When you go against jump, jump, that, that's down. exactly what God says is a vile effect. Just like, just like a pedophile. Be, being a pedophile, that's a vile affection. He can walk away. That's a vile affection. So homosexuality is a yes. According to the Word of God, the Word of God says homosexuality, lesbianism is a vile affection. But I want to let you know, Jesus, Jesus died for the homosexual. And Jesus can save homosexuals. There's a lot of ex homosexuals in our church. They've been changed by the power of God. Yeah. They've been changed. Yeah. And, so, and so the reality is, just, 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 and look, just even, discussion, even just whether you agree, not agree, that's it. That's it. Homos homosexuals, homosexuals their, their, their life expectancy is the lowest. They, the What's average, up? the average. What's up, man? What's the problem, man? What's up, man? Lives between fifty and sixty. What's What's up, man? What's the problem, man? Why are you so upset, man? You can die sooner. Yeah. You. I'm, I'm not saying that you are, but I'm saying you can. You can. You 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 may only be speeding up the process. Uh, we all know that that a, that a penis is not made for any, for an anus. That's simple. And I don't have I don't have to explain that to you. You already know. Yes, I have. I already answered your question. I love homosexuals, but I support homosexuals. Speaking the truth, speaking the truth to you is is a, is a is a demonstration of love. I don't support. I don't support your actual sexual lifestyle. Of course I don't. Come on, man. This is the music, man. Yeah, you can live shorter. Yeah. What's up, man? What's wrong, man? You don't because the so thing is because you don't like it. Therefore, you think I'm hateful or resentful. No, you just don't agree with me. You you don't agree, and I know we don't we don't agree. But but. But just because I don't agree doesn't mean that I look. Look, I, I I care for you, and that's why I tell you the truth. That turning to Jesus is your best offer. Uh oh. So, so that's so my and the, you know you know the funny thing is that. We don't we don't we don't even start we don't even start speaking about homosexuals. It's other people oh what do you think about homosexuals? Why don't why don't people why don't people come up and say you know, what, what what you say what you think about stealing? What do you think about a, a, a lion? It always has to be about homosexuality. And you know why that comes up? It's because people know people know in their conscience, in their heart. That it is wrong, that it is vile, it is against nature. But because of but because of their lust, because of their lust, this is this is why the issue comes up because they want to justify their lust. That's all it is, my friends. That's all it is. Yes, that is all it is. Is their lust. I give up. Their lust. I give up. I give up. I give up. Everybody who wants to talk to me. So my friends. Jesus, the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it says, yes, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God, not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, will inherit the kingdom of God. But then it says, as such will some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. The Spirit of God can take away your lust, it can set you free. Look, Paul wrote to the Corinthians and they were all these things, but they, but they were they were changed by the power of the Lord. They were saved. They were delivered from that lifestyle. That's why it says that. It says, but you were washed. You were cleansed. And you can have the same. But, in, but you have to humble yourself. The word, the word says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It says to cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify 
your hearts, you double-minded, that lament and mourn and weep to let your laughter turn to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Yeshua, Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua 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 is the greatest. Look, I, I, I do want to ask a side note. What do, what do, you, think, what do you think about the Taliban in Afghanistan? <laughs> we want independence, bro. It's a, it's, a, it's a controversial discussion with, with you know, God and the Bible, different society, societal issues, vaccinations, homosexuality, whatever. That's a discussion, you know. Trying to make it nice and peaceful, hopefully, you know, keep it peaceful. <laughs> You don't want to obey the rules of the, the exchange of ideas. <laughs> so, so you're really saying that the Taliban is. Hopefully not, hopefully not, hopefully not. That's the truth. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, it, look, it didn't, it didn't come from me. It didn't come from me. You heard them yourself. What is the discussion topic right now? What does what does what does the Taliban do to homosexuals? Oh, we're still talking about it. <laughs> I am Catholic and bisexual. There's really no bisexual. There's no reason Look, for any you know, you know what I find funny that <laughs> when, yeah, when, yeah, when Muslims oh, are pressed yeah. on the question, yeah. Yeah. E even though I don't, honest, I don't agree yes. with it, it's your choice. It's but your life. What I find is that See, a lot of people that are I, I, I love, I love you, I love you. You know, they're not against Muslims. Keep that first place. All I gotta say, you know. <laughs> You're afraid to offend Muslims. But nice to meet you too. But we know. It's a pleasure, you know. But we know what truth is. <laughs> to Christians and anyone who doesn't follow their way of life. You're coming, you're coming from school, I see. The you're Taliban, school. ISIS, no. work? Oh, these Sharia law countries. We gotta, we gotta work and survive. It's not even you a know. <laughs> It's well known that they throw homosexuals off the roof. Amen. They throw homosexuals off the roof. Oh. 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 You know what, you know what Christians do to homosexuals? Yeah, yeah. They just preach the truth. Amen. That's all. That's all. We just preach the truth. That's all. Where is God? So, so, also, so the word again to speak the truth in love. And that's and that's why Christians are hated you because you because people for the same reason for the same reason that they crucified the Lord Jesus is the same reason why Christians get persecuted. It's the same thing. Jesus said if they if they persecuted me, they will persecute you. And so I want to let you know, the, one of the ways that you know that you're following Jesus. It's if you are being persecuted. Come on, man. Why, why you gotta do that, man? Come on, man. Say, leave, leave it alone. Say, my friends. Let's speak it, man. My friends. <laughs> Repent, believe the gospel. That is your only hope. Jesus said the time, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Not only that, but it's that simple, my friends. Jesus died for you. He rose from the dead and he can give you life. You had your chance. You had your chance. You had your chance. If you want to continue, would you agree with the idea? Meet us in Times Square. Meet us here. Why are you here? You have sperm. That's what you're here right now. So I'm here. That's not always a good thing. You have sperm. 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 You Okay, what about not stealing, not 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 committing adultery? Yes, that is a thing, but not murdering. Is that still relevant today? Yeah, of course. But, but, it, but, but there but, are but, some things that are still so oh, relevant. How do we determine that, though? That's the question. What thing is relevant and what thing is not relevant? Like, 
and, that, and that's the, the debate right here. You see, if you see a, a man or woman, do you, you interfere? Do you see it as wrong? A man or woman? Yeah. Do what? Just being together. A man or woman? Yeah. I mean, you see it as wrong. I see, if, you're, if you're having sex before marriage, I'm, 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 no, I'm I mean against just that. Like, no, that's, that's fornication, which I don't agree with. Okay. I'm saying people <laughs> you don't know mm -hmm. walking down the street and holding hands and kissing whatever. It's a man and a woman. Do you oppose that? Oh, kissing on the street, man and woman? Yeah. Let's say they're married. They both have wedding rings. They're married to each other. Uh, I'm not they're against married. kissing on the street. But, uh, no. I, like, how far does it go, though? You know? <laughs> Are you against a man and a woman being together? No. That was the general question. You're just changing it to no. different things. No. So, what's the difference between seeing a random woman and a woman or a man and a man in the street? Why is because, that your business? Because it's not business. You're right. It's not business. But in its essence, homosexuality is anti-life. Anti-life, like we have two two men, right, having sex. What do you think they're doing? They're putting penises in each other's buttholes. Is that, is that, is that healthy? Ain't anal sphincters, anal anal warts, and all that. That's not healthy. The, the penis is meant to go in the vagina, but these men are putting it in the butthole. Where the, where you where you doodle from? It's not it's not it's not healthy. Straight people also do that too. I don't agree with that. Exactly. I don't agree with that. Y'all are just as messed up as us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all got things wrong with us that we have to work exactly. through. You know, we all are just as messed up as us. But, but then we still got to strive to, to live better, right? We still got to make better choices. We all don't have so it perfectly right. Y'all are all about God and everything. You're not God, so who are you to fucking judge? Who are you to say this is wrong? Do you, do you judge every day? Do you judge? Do I judge for that? For that looks good to wear. I like that makeup. I like that lip gloss. Oh, he look, he look, he look horrible. He look, he's a raggedy. Bastard, whatever. Do you say that sometimes? Say that. You judge. Saying that, that sometimes you're ragged. That car looks sexy. That car looks swagged out. You're, you're, you're judging. We are judged. But you should not judge hypocritically, judge judgment. You should judge righteous judgment. That's what the Bible says. Does that also the Bible say that only God could do not judge for only God could judge you? No, no. The Bible says a spiritual man judges all things. So God gives a final verdict. I can't say you're going to be lost. I'm going to be saved. I, God, only God has a final authority. Okay, because that was what I was opposing because everyone's just like, oh, you're going to go to hell for Exactly. This. But so it's just like, you're not one to say we, that. We can give like many, many judgments on people. Yeah. That's wrong. That's right. I don't think you did that the right way. Do this a better way. Yeah. But only God will get a final verdict of yeah. whether you saved or you're not saved. Yeah. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Right. So only only so God is a final okay. judge. A final judge. All right. I respect that. Like, like you got you got you got court judges and you got and you got the Supreme Court judge. He has a final say in a yeah. lot of things that would go on. All right. Some, some I, to that. I respect that. All right. It was nice to meet you. Much love. I appreciate God, God bless you. No problem. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Man, like you and me, like we're having a conversation, teach me. Who cares what the Bible said? The Bible really like people like you, indoctrinated people like you. So because all of these things are books, all of these things make a God, where the fuck is the God? I'm, I'm telling you, hold my hand and show me where the God is. Take me to the God. Hold my hand and take me to the God. You just don't get indoctrinated shit. If you were in China, you wouldn't be talking about the Jehovah. You would be talking about Buddha. And so get the fuck out of here with that shit. Fuck go, hold my hand and take, let, let us go and walk to the show you go. You can show me a book. That is all you got to show me. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. You're yet young, and you're yet to learn to grow up in that place. You're yet young. You're young. You don't know. You can't answer no questions. Nothing. Of course not. Show me the God of that talk. Of the soldiers. For God so loved the one that gave his only begotten son. Believe. You haven't learned what I've learned in my time. There's neither left nor right. Eight no matter. Eight no matter. Eight no matter. Who believe shall not perish. Who you know who want to perish? So it's a trick fucking question. Huh? You don't want to. You don't want to perish. So what you gotta do? Fucking believe. Huh? It's a trick. Don't do shit. These 
that young, he don't know. He doesn't want to learn that shit. He don't know that. He don't know that. The God's the love the word he gives us all we got his son. That whosoever believes shall not perish. You want to perish? Hell no. So what you got to do? Don't throw your prayers. Fucking believe. Fucking trick. You just young. Do you follow what you're preaching? Another paradox. I'm preaching shit. You're a hypocrite. Another paradox. It's God. It's God so strong. Right, that he can make a boulder that even he himself couldn't lift. That's paradox. Either way, you lose. As you say, yes, God can lift a boulder that uh, uh, the biggest boulder he lose because the boulder wasn't big enough. Is, and if he can lift it, then he's not God because he got it. He has, he accomplished the shit. It's paradoxical mental shit. He's yet young. He don't know that shit. Do you practice what you preach? I don't preach shit. I'm a teacher. Preach of what? You just said God so loved the world that huh? he gave us one and only I God. I know that fucking book. You don't know that that book come out of ancient black people, Egyptian, that retro shit. You don't know that. Okay, so who wrote the Bible? Torah. It's raw. Torah. All of it is ancient Egyptian corrupt shit. After the different races get a piece of the, the sun, the sun is to demonstrate reality. You see, that was a sun every day. The sun is a damn straight reality and facts, right? Bringing us from the superstition that they're in. They don't understand that shit. They get the sun philosophy and corrupt it into spirit and demon. You see that book? There's no black man on this planet that can make a horror picture like Caucasian people. He can live as long as he can do it. They're masters. So of I'm not, I'm not demonology, the book. Their God is a God of demons. He he put demons in pigs and sent them over. I don't know if you know the stupid ass story. Uh, everything about the book, which is every, everything demonic, is in the book. So the only way to get to keep that book alive, you indoctrinated people from the youngest age with demonology, ghosts. Supernatural fucking, I don't like to be out here doing this shit, but sometimes when you see these idiots out here, what do you, you know, what, what are they corrupt fucking what children? What do, you, what do you have against, uh? you, have, you, have, you have something against the preaching? That's what you have, something against the preaching? No, I got nothing against the preaching, it's oh. bullshit, it's nonsense. It is demonology. You want to talk about something? Mm -hmm. Talk about reality. Okay. Talk about the situations that we got here. We, we do talk about uh, reality. Talk about that, nobody don't want to hear nothing about afterlife and shit. God, that is corruption. That is demonology. Huh? Supernatural ghost God. Rotsoli make billions of money off of this we, shit with, with uh, a Twilight Zone and all kind of shit. We, 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 do, we do talk about things like gun violence, um, huh? gun violence, um, healthier families. We talk, we talk that about got the, the thing is about it is, about, about is it. what you're talking. Is it true? That is the thing. You're right, you're right. <laughs> That's it. Is, is it, it true? Uh, what you're right. You're saying? Because the same book say what about truth? Yeah. What, I, that, what, what a book say about truth? Truth? Yeah. It will set you free? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go, okay? That's right. So to take that book and to go to places in the world where people are poor. Yeah and hungry and illiterate. Mm -hmm. Then they pretend that they're taking shoes and, and bread and, because they want them indoctrinated early with superstition. When's the last time you went to them? When, when did you feed them? Young. When did you feed them? So are you old enough that you yeah, know how to pop and lock? Do you know how to do this? Apparently, you're old, yet you don't know how to do half the stuff I can do. Age don't matter. That's ignorance. A lie who rebuked. A lie who rebuked the other elders who rebuked them. You got nothing. Don't listen to this guy. Throw pearls to swine, yo. Get away from him. Don't even talk to this man. He got no sense. He got no sense, yo. Oh, age. He does. He's so young. Okay, so answer a question for me. Oh, wait, you can't. I, I just look at him mostly smile, man. You know? Especially when it's so engra engraving the thinking, you know, you can't really change. He's it's, probably it's, even drunk. It's, it's hard to change. Possibly, yeah. Uh, yeah, what's in that bag? You know? Are you from Florida too? Mm -hmm. Florida? No, I'm not from here. I'm actually from New York. Oh, wow. Okay. So you, you did you just bump into us? No, I actually watch you guys on on, 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 on YouTube. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually not, I'm actually a uh, SDA Christian. SDA? SDA, yeah, yeah. What do you it's mean? Seven day event. 
Oh no, nah, man, you gotta get out of that. <laughs> Why is that? Because we don't gotta, we don't gotta uh, uh, celebrate the Sabbath in order to be saved. You don't. Nope. Yeah. My only, my only thing is that um, with the Sabbath, uh -huh. the commandments, the, with the fourth commandment. Why do I, I feel like every other commandment we say we we, we think it's okay to follow? Yeah. Well, that one commandment is like we are saying it's not. It's not, not yeah, and you know they say the verse, so don't judge anyone on any Sabbath day. And yeah, and that's actually really good. But then I feel like it seems like God had made other Sabbath days. There's, there's different Sabbath days of rest. Um, there's you no know, Pentecost and um, Feast of Tabernacles, but I think there's, 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 there's a difference. So when we get to Exodus 31, the main 16, it says, So the sons of Israel shall observe the Sabbath, the sons of Israel, yeah. to celebrate the Sabbath throughout the generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the sons of Israel forever. For the six days the Lord made heaven and earth, but the seventh day he ceased and labored. So it's a sign for him and the Israelites, not a sign for us. Okay. Uh, I uh, didn't know which uh, ship does that. What about the verse where it says that we are grafted into the stock of Israel? We are definitely Romans, grafted in, Romans but at nine. the same time it says we shall not be saved by works of the law. By works of the law shall no flesh be saved. Okay. So at the end of the day, if we think that we have to repent and believe, mm -hmm. but then we have to add a work into it, we have now made it cease. There's, there's no point because at the end of the day, it's a work of the law. And by no works of the law am I saved. I find Sabbath rest in Jesus Christ. So when I repent and believe, I find rest because he says, come all to me who are weary and laden, and I shall give you rest. What was he talking about? The law. Rest from the law because nobody could hold it up. The law broken it. James says, you break one law, you've already broken it. So he held that weight because he can hold it. His joke is easy because when we repent and believe, that's it. Yeah. All I got to do is have faith. So, by grace through faith alone. So you say, so you say it's about working on Sabbath or about resting on Sabbath? I'm talking about that's a work of the law because it's one of the Ten Commandments. That is a work of the so, law. So we, is it okay to murder or steal now? And of course not. Time? But through Christ, when I repent and believe, he's my Sabbath rest. It where, says he's where, become that. Where is it in the Bible when he is our Sabbath? Huh? Where do you say Christ is our Sabbath? I got you right now. Christ did honor the Sabbath. I, I got you. Yes, he honored the Sabbath and, and, and he kept it. And the apostles after his resurrection. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, like, that's like my main thing, you know. Therefore, let us fear if while a promise remains of entering his rest, any one of you may seem to have come short of it. For indeed, we have had the good news preached to us, just as they also, but to the word, they heard uh, did not profit them, because it was not united by faith in those who heard it. For we who have believed enter the rest, just as he has said, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Rest, although his works were finished from the foundation of the world for he said somewhere concerning the seventh day and God rested on the seventh day from all his works and again the passage says they shall not enter my rest therefore since it remains for some to enter in enter it and those who formerly had good news preached to them failed to enter because of disobedience enter into Christ he again fixes a certain day today saying through David after so long a time just as has been said uh, before today if you hear my voice do not harden in your heart. For if Joshua had given them rest, he would not have spoken of another day after that. So there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God, for the one who has entered his rest has himself also rested from the works as God did from his. So when we repent and believe, we enter into his rest as he says, come all to me who are weary and laden. This is Hebrews 4. He says if we're in him, we've already received that Sabbath rest. And so that chapter explains that. We no longer need to get a physical day of rest. If you want to uh, personally like celebrate on Saturday, that's not a problem. But when you say, because I can celebrate a Sabbath on Saturday, it's not an issue. The issue is not celebrating it on a Saturday. The issue is putting an emphasis and saying, if I don't, I'm not saved. And that's a problem because that's a work of the law. And it says, by works of the law, which Ten Commandments are works of the law, no flesh shall be saved. It's by grace through faith alone you've been saved. Uh, no works of the law shall no man be, be saved, you said, right? Yes. Yeah. But then we are we expected to do works? So. Works need, come need, from faith. Need for repentance. Word, word, works come from faith. If you repent and believe in the Holy Spirit, that you naturally do good works. Yeah. Not because it saves you, but because you've already been accepted and you're saved. So you do those things because God wills in you to do. Them. You understand? And so in that chapter alone, he so, said that we find rest in Him. So you don't think it's both a day of rest and also a spiritual rest? You think that verse should be saying no, that? No, I, I don't think that I have to do a work. Yes. It always comes down to if I add that as a work of the law that I have to do it to be saved, I have now put a work that I'm doing on top of faith and saying this together is what saves me and by no works of the law shall man be saved. By grace and faith alone you have been saved, least any man boasts. Mm -hmm. 
So if you were able to say, I repented and believed and, and I have faith in Jesus, but I also kept the Sabbath for my salvation, you could say to God, I have to be put into getting my salvation. So because I kept my Sabbath and have faith in you, I helped myself get into it. So that's a problem. But it's, not, it's not only the Sabbath, though. It's about obeying God entirely. Yeah. Um, we obey God through uh, repentance and faith. He said, this is the work that I ask you to do. Because when I asked him, what work do you ask us to do? And he says, the only work that you have to do is repent and believe. That's yeah. it. And he wasn't and literally do, saying that's a work. And I do believe there are a lot of people who do keep the Sabbath who are not going to be saved, you know why? Because they're not, they're not born again. They don't have love in their heart. They're backbiters, they're, they're jealous, Amen. they're envious, and all that. So I think we have to take God in his word in his entirety. Not only here and here and here and here, here, different parts, but in its entirety. Exactly. In its wholesome parts. So that's you know? that's that's why I say that when we when we see the verses, Romans 3, 20, 22, uh -huh. because by the works of the law no flesh will be justified in his sight. For through the law comes the knowledge of sin. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been manifested, being witnessed by the law of the prophets, even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all those who believe, for there is no distinction. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Yet again, being justified by the gift of His grace, not by works of the law. So we understand that when you have works of the law, you're not going to be saved. Uh, another one. What, what are works of the law? Works of the law are uh, the 16, uh, 613 commandments, including the Ten Commandments. So those are works of the law. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you talking about the Mosaic law? Yeah. The Moses? Okay. My thing is still though, the Sabbath, Moses, then that's in God's, God wrote in his own hand. Yeah, but he said those are for the Jews. I just showed you that verse. He said that's a covenant. He said that those are, the, he said specifically, this is for you guys, for your generations to come. All the commandments? For God. Huh? All the I think that that's a general uh, statement. So even, let's just say, let's take into a statement that you're saying all the commandments for the Jews. I think the commandments are for everybody. But the problem is, when we repent and believe, we enter into his rest. He says they didn't enter into his rest. We entered into his rest through faith. So if you want to personally do Saturday, that's not an issue. But if you say that I have to do this yeah. or I'm going to go to hell, then you've just added a work and said it's not God's sufficient grace. It's God's sufficient grace and my one work of the law. And at the same time, the same thing, we should then get circumcised. We have to add that into it too because he gave that same thing to the Jews. Those are what so, are the commands, so circumcise yourself. So when the commandment says like, thou, thou shall not covet, is that, is that, should, I not, should, I, should I be selective with that? Or is no, this, yet again, or is when, when, when we repent and we believe, yeah. there is no need to, uh, what you might call it, we naturally don't want to cover. We naturally fight these kinds of tendencies. Yeah. So in the same way, through, I don't want to murder, mm -hmm. I'm not going to murder in my mind because I know that if I if I kill somebody yeah. in my mind, I've already Co committed murder. Yeah, that's true. So what I'm saying is that I repent and believe. Mm -hmm. If I repent and believe, I enter into his rest. He said, come unto me all the way and lady. I shall give you. He, it says it's a shadow of things to come. Hold on for one second. Let me give you that one. My, uh, oh. I think it's talking about the, um, the ceremonial Sabbaths. One person mean? regards one day above the another, and the other regards every day alike. Yeah. So he's not saying ceremonial Sabbaths. He didn't specifically say that. We can't add to the text and say, he just said ceremonial, right? He says one person regards one day mm -hmm. above another, and another regards every day alike. Each person must be fully convinced in his in own, his own mind. mind. He who observes the day observes it for the Lord, and he who eats does it for the Lord. Yeah. For he gives thanks to God, and he eats. Uh, and he who eats not for the Lord, he does not eat, and he gives thanks to God. So he's saying, if you want to consider that day special, that is fine. Mm -hmm. But you can't say anything to anybody else. But, but then the Bible says God sanctified it and blessed it in the Book of Genesis. Yes. So see, my God in, in, in His own words said that He set this day apart, sanctified, and blessed it. In, in the Book of he Genesis. may have blessed it, but yet again, Jesus becomes that day rest. Mm -hmm. So if I want to celebrate my rest day on Sunday, yeah. that's fine. I understand that the SDA has a lot of problems with the Catholic Church. I don't like the Catholic, Catholic Church. Oh, they're, they're, I they're, hate the Catholic they're, they're, they're Church. They're way off. They're very close <laughs> in all their doctrine, <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything from church history that the Catholics did mm -hmm. at the beginning were wrong. Yeah. We know we get the Trinity from them being there at the time. Not to say we get it from them, but from the Bible. Yeah. And they were the one in the Council of Nicaea who said, okay, let's make this a doctrine. Mm -hmm. So he used them at certain points in the past. It's not to say now, I do believe she's a whore of Babylon. I believe she's going to lead us to destruction. I'm saying that uh, by works of the law shall no man be saved. I want to give you actually the other verse too. Uh, Saturday, Saturday. 
Romans 14.5. I just went through that one. It was Colossians 2.16.17. Colossians 2.16.17. So it says, Therefore no one is to act as your judge in regard to food, drink, respect the festival or, or 